I'm a big believer in, I don't want to say networking, because I didn't know that that's what it was at the time. I just, um, I'm very interested in people. I'm very interested in talking and listening to people. And um, there was a casting director in New York who also was a director, a woman by the name of Risa Brayman. Now she's Risa Brayman Garcia. But Risa Brayman had directed my husband in a play in New York called Gray Spades. And Risa was very good friends with a talent agent at Triad Artists, um, and that woman was Susan Streitfeld. So Susan at Triad Artists was looking for a – she knew that Triad was looking for a new agent to work in the legitimate theater department. Okay, so I get a call, and this is all new to me. I have no idea what it means. I don't know about Triad. I literally know one agency – and a few small theaters, and that's about it. And I did have, um, I knew a lot of casting directors because I had been assigned territories, but that was it. Um, so Risa uh, gives Susan Streifeld my name. Susan Streifeld calls Triad Art, uh, uh, calls Irv Schechter, and leaves a message, uh, Susan Streifeld from Triad. I'd never heard of Triad. I saw the message, and I thought, oh, she must be from TriStar, which was a studio. Um, so I called her back, and I said, um, you know, I told her who I was, and she said, great, can, can you come in for a meeting? I said, I don't even know what this is about. Um, she said, well, we're looking for a new agent. And I thought, oh, well, this will be great. So I went over. We had a great meeting. I loved her. Very artsy. We had a lot, you know, a lot in common. Um, and she knew Risa. And I thought, well, this... I said, this looks interesting. And, then, and so I went through a series of interviews there, met with the partners. Um, and one of the partners I met with was a guy by the name of John, an agent named John Kimball. Um, and we hit it off right away. I met with uh, John Kimball, Nicole David, Arnold Rifkin. That, that was my initial interview. And um, now I had met John Kimball in New York when I was an actress. And when I graduated from college, I had done a, uh, an audition with all the other students that were graduating from these training programs at, at universities, and John's company was one of the companies that I went into to interview to be signed as an actress. So I remembered meeting John then. He did not remember me, but I remembered him. Um, and I did not get that job at Triad, uh, that initial go-around. And about a month later, I got a call from John Kimball personally to say, I want to offer you a job as my assistant initially um, to learn about packaging. Television packaging was just, just starting up. And um, to just kind of come in and start working with me. Um, and I really, really like John. We are very good friends to this day. Um, and I thought this would be a great opportunity for me. And even though I was an agent, I said, look, can I bring a couple of clients with me? I'm very happy to come in and start learning and then really to watch John and, and see how you work. And um, we hit it off, and I was extremely, um, extremely grateful for all the opportunity he gave me. He was uh, a, a wonderful mentor, a wonderful boss. And um, and it was funny, when I left Irv Schechter, I thought, you know, you just go from agency to agency. I didn't know that you basically get locked out of your office. I mean, when agents go from one agency to another, you have to do it like, you know, under the, the, the shroud of darkness and, and no one can know what you're doing. I went in very innocently and said, um, I've got this other job. I'd like to give two weeks notice. And my boss said, no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so um, fortunately, I had taken my, my Rolodex out the night before. And um, and I went and, and started at Triad and was there for five years. Well, I took Patricia Wedig uh, with me at the time. I took Kurt Fuller with me at the time. Uh, a couple of smaller clients I signed. Scott Wenger, who ultimately went on to become the voice of Aladdin, uh, and now is a writer. Uh, a young actress named Ala Karat. And, um, and it was a really fantastic opportunity. A lot of the clients that John had, I was more in the service, sort of as a servicing agent. So the people that he represented, I worked with as well. And in those days, it was Nell Carter, uh, Victoria Principal, Meredith Baxter, uh, Ken Kerchival, Bob Newhart. Um, when I first started working with him, he represented Fred Gwynn. Um, they were, it was an amazing, uh, an amazing talent 
roster, and uh, it was a really great opportunity. And I learned about television packaging. In those days, um, the agency represented Roseanne, and Roseanne, you know, had was a stand-up at the time. And one of the agents I worked with signed him, signed her, and um, and was involved in packaging the show. So it was an unbelievable opportunity. Television packaging is the agency puts together all of the elements and is opposed to a, 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 an actor or actress paying the agency commission, the agency itself, itself takes a commission off of the license fee from the show. And that was basically just starting out. And it was a, uh, an opportunity for agencies to begin to make a lot of money. Um, they were putting together, um, they were beginning to put together uh, uh, what they called um, taking their A-list talent with other A-list talent and putting it together and taking that to a studio as opposed to the studio putting all of those elements together.